Okay, today we're going to be talking about Vox ATC software, and this is what we're going to be flying. It's the uh, F-18E Super Hornet, and this is the CAG plane. Uh, Victory 1 is its call sign, and it's from VF-103. Okay, so here we are in the aircraft. Here we are in the aircraft, and uh, we're going to now turn on Vox. So Vox is an, a view, and it's an instrument panel view. Right, and it's down here, Vox ATC. So once we have this, you'll note it has my call sign Victory One. That's a setup. We can talk about that later. Uh, that's in the settings outside of Flight Simulator. Uh, I've set it to be Victory One, which is an airline call sign uh, for the Navy for this particular squad, uh, squadron. So here we go, enable. Yes. And what it does is it yes. runs through the speech yes. voices that you have yes. set up. There's also some yes. settings there, but it uses the default Windows speech initialization, speech recognition kind of stuff. Because it's actually going to recognize my voice, and that's what makes it so utterly amazing. So here it goes. It's uh, setting up, doing its thing. And it only takes a couple seconds usually. So we'll see here. There we go. Okay, so tune and so what it first tells you it knows where I am it knows what I need to do t first so it tells me to Navy Jacksonville ground at 128.6 so off we go 128.6 and you'll see that when it changes now I have options so I'm gonna request taxi for a local flight because that's all we're doing today so I can hit O or whatever so now here's where the magic happens I've got a hotkey keyed to the mic um, but that's also a setting outside uh, in Vox ATC but here we go Navy Jacksonville Ground Victory One request taxi for local. Victory One, taxi to runway one zero via Charlie and Alpha, Jacksonville NAS, altimeter three zero one six. Taxi to runway one zero via Charlie and Alpha, Victory One. Victory One, taxi to runway one zero. And now we have another command, which is a little unusual, but sometimes happens. Taxi to runway one zero, Victory One. So now it says, hey, I need to go taxi that runway. Now at this point, I've got it set to a hotkey so I can turn that window off. Uh, I believe the altimeter was 3016, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And by the way, if you don't have a track IR, that's how I'm doing all this head movement stuff. You need to get one if you're doing flight simulation. Okay, I'm going to go taxi on out, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are rolling up into position uh, at the threshold after a quick little taxi out. And you can see the other nice thing that this adds, Vox ATC, is it adds all these little lights. See all these little lights, the little green taxi lights, lets you know where you're supposed to go, which is really handy. And then, of course, you've got threshold lights that are in red. So all that stuff's kind of nice. It uh, makes it so that you don't have to do turn on a specific kind of taxi. So here we are. We're here. We're going to turn on our window. And you'll see that I need to tune to uh, Jacksonville Tower to take off. So I'll go ahead and do that, uh, 120.0. One two zero zero. Off we go, and it tells me what's going to happen. I need to wait. Victory one. Runway one zero cleared takeoff. And there was my call. Runway one zero cleared takeoff. Victory one. Okay, so that's it. That's how it works. And you'll see my red threshold lights went away. Um, off we go. So uh, we'll just do a quick takeoff, and I'll get it up in the air, and then we'll uh, we'll do the. Just a quick little sunset flight and uh, come back in and land based on this as well. It's telling me to check flaps because I didn't check that. Not too bright. All right, here we go. Turn on a little smoke, just for fun. Quick little roll out, and off we go. Okay, and I'll be back with you in a minute and put it down on the ground with uh, using Box ATC. Okay, so as you can see here on my port side is uh, where I just took off from, and I'm getting ready to set up for landing. So you can see that I have that option to request a landing. So I'll hit it, and it'll tell me what to say. And this is a multi-step process, so it gives me a couple of things. Here we go. Victory 1, 3 miles northeast Jacksonville, NAS, at 2800, landing Jacksonville, NAS. Victory 1, enter left hand on the 45 runway 10. Enter left hand on the 45, runway 10, Victory 1. 
so you'll get some, uh, you're hearing some feedback here because I'm recording with a different microphone than I'm using for Vox. Vox really likes to hear, you know, a little headphone mic, and that's what I'm using, but I'm using a high quality mic to record what I'm doing here. So that's why this is all, uh, you might have a little trouble hearing some things, or you might get some echo, but it's really fantastic. Um, in the room here, it just sounds outstanding. You're just getting a little echo back because I'm using two mics. Uh, as you can see, there's the uh, airport. So I'm on the downwind right now. And I've got auto throttle control enabled for this plane because it makes it really nice. And you can see what it does. There's the throttle. Uh, so, and I'm telling you, if you fly the VS, VRS Superbug and you're not using auto throttle, you are out of your mind because that's what it's there for to make life easier okay if you look down here you can see I'm passing I'm just about a beam of the uh, threshold and we are and I'm probably going to turn in pretty quick here so this video doesn't take freaking forever so here victory we go one, we're just going to you're number one to land uh, I just talked right over it. it said victory one you're number one to land so roger victory one so it's waiting for me to enter the 45 left hand uh, runway 10 and it just told me I was one to land so pretty good to go I'm gonna go ahead and get on over to that lineup this is gonna be a very short final and I do have flaps out and gear down so they should be calling me shortly I hope everything works right I got auto throttle engaged we're looking pretty good we're a little low but whatever this is about the height for a carrier pattern so Looking good as far as I'm concerned. Awful low and slow. Let's see if they clear me. Victory one. Clear to land runway one zero. Line zero five four A. Clear to land runway one zero, victory one. And I think you can all see that this is amazing and much better than typing. Um, it's just so nice. It's exactly what you do in a real airplane. So it is really super. It's a great program. It's called Vox ATC. And of course, I'm using the VRS Superbug, which is yet another wonderful program. This is possibly the most extensive simulator, simulated plane I've ever seen. And it is magnificent. You can do carrier lands. You can shoot stuff out in the air and on the ground. The radars work. It's a really magnificent product, too. Two of my favorites, VRS Superbug. And this was a little overview of Vox ATC. And let's just go ahead and uh, clear the runway. I should get a notification. Victory 1. Turn left any intersection. Well, <laughs> I almost made that one. Wilco, Victory 1. They were telling me to go at any intersection, and I was like, eh, I almost made that one. It's still rolling a little too fast, so we're going to get up to the next intersection, wherever the heck that is. And then we're going to get clear of the runway. And it looks like we're coming up on one. Uh, they're not going to make me go all the way to the intersection, are they? Yes, they are. So we'll see here. Well, I made it all the way down to the other end, didn't I? Okay, well, whatever. All right, here we go. We're about to... Of course, this is the actual runway, so this isn't the most ideal way to do this, but whatever. We're just going to do it. This is our intersection. And it's not an active runway, so we're all right. Victory 1. Contact Navy Jacksonville, ground 128.6. 128.6, Victory 1. So then we do one, two, eight point six, and off we go to, and we make our call. Navy Jacksonville ground victory one vacated runway. Victory one, taxi to the ramp. Taxi to the ramp, victory one. And that's just all there is to it, and that's how easy it is. It's all nice and push buttony and magnificent. Thanks for watching.